Welcome everyone. In the previous video, we created this left panel and I said that from this video onwards, we'll start with the programming part. But in this video, I'm just going to show you how to use ace.js. All right. I'm going to head over to my browser and search for ace.js and click on the very first link. Now here you can see that we have got this heading that says built for code and there is some boilerplate code, but this is just the JavaScript part of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this button that says learn how to embed this in your site and this takes us to some boilerplate code. You could also find this code if you just switch the tab from about to embedding guide and here I'm just going to copy this entire boilerplate code and head over to VS code. Here in the VS code, I'm going to create a file in the root of the project directory and I'm going to name it demo text editor .html and paste everything that we just copied inside of it and then I'm going to run it in the browser. You can see that all we have right now is a simple line of text. All right, so let's open up the console and see what went wrong. Why don't we have our code editor by now? So in the console, you can see that it is not able to find something called ace. So let's make some changes in our code. Here in the VS code, you can see that our program is trying to find a file called ace.js. So let's create an ace.js inside of our JS folder and update the path in the demo text editor.html. Do you think now the code would work? Of course not. Now we need to find some content to put inside of our age.js. So go over to the documentation site and inside of the embedding guide section, the first line says that ace can easily be embedded into a web page, get a pre-built version of ace from ace builds repository and use the code below. All right, so I'm just going to click on this ace builds link that takes me to their GitHub repo. Now all the code that we would need is available in these four different directories. And it's the same code everywhere. It's just that in the first two directories, the code is minified, whereas in the bottom two, the code is non-minified. You can select whichever one you wish. I'm just going to select the SRC no conflict directory. And on the top, you can see that we have our file age.js. Select it and it's a pretty quick file, so it might take some time to load. After it's loaded, just click on this raw button, which takes us to the complete raw code. So I'm just going to copy the entire code and paste it inside of our age.js. This file is huge as it's about 21,000 lines of code and it makes sense since it's a library. All right, so now that we have content inside of our age.js, do you think now we have our code editor? Let's check. So as soon as I reload the browser window, you can see that now we do have our code editor. There's this strip line on the left which contains the line number and it does looks like a code editor, but there are still things missing. First of all, we need some syntax highlighting. So let's go back to the GitHub repo and navigate to the directory from where you got ace.js. In my case, it was src no conflict. Now remember, you need to tell ace.js that in which mode you want your code to be highlighted in. So you can select any language. And for now, I'm just going to go with JavaScript. So let's search a file named mode-javascript. Let's just search the entire web page for a file with the name mode-javascript. And there we go. I'm going to open this file in a new tab and let's also search for a theme to set a theme for our demo text editor. I'm going to search for a file named theme-twilight and I'm going to open this file in a new tab as well. So for now, just go over to the mode-javascript tab and copy the entire content of the file and head over to VS code and create a new file inside of the JS folder with the exact same name mode-javascript.js and paste everything there. So reload the demo text editor file and now you can see that the code highlighting is enabled. Next step is to set up some theme. So I'm just going to go over to the twilight theme tab and copy all of its content as well, just like we did earlier and head over to VS code and create a new file instead of the JS folder with the exact same name theme-twilight.js and paste everything inside of it. Also, come over to the demo text editor.html and change the name of the theme from Monokai to Twilight. Now reload the file for one last time and there you go. You can now see that everything works fine. We've got syntax highlighting as well as some theme in the background. Alright, now try adding more themes. Just download any one of these theme files, name them exactly as they were named in the documentation or in the GitHub repository and update the set theme method. You can also try the syntax highlighting for different languages in similar manner. So I guess that's it for this video 
and you can also check out the fully featured version of ace.js just go over to their website and click on the link inside of the highlighted box titled kitchen sink and this takes you to a completely new interface where on the left you've got various settings to play with and on the right you can see the changes for example you can change theme cursor style font size mode and much more so that's it for this video and in the next one i'm going to actually implement everything in our project so till next time